I'm Maureen. This is a Qigong practice. My training is with the Taoist Qigong Primordial Limitless Gate School. In Chinese medicine, balance exists in the macrocosm of the universe as well as the microcosm in our body. The natural changes that happen in the universe also take place within us. So we pay attention to nature and we cultivate balance in our ever-changing body. To begin, Stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. Add a slight bend to your knees. Let your shoulders drop away from your ears and place your hands at your lower dantian just below your navel, one of three important energy centers in your body. Now let's begin. Bringing in chi. Let your palms face up. Inhale, arms out wide and up overhead purposefully bringing in fresh chi. As you exhale, hands back down to the lower dantian. And repeat, tuning in to the timing and rhythm of your own breath if it's different from mine. If you can do this practice out in nature, I advise you to do so. It helps to gather in the chi of nature. If you're inside, just imagine you're taking in that chi from the sky and grounding it in your body. Awakening chi, a six part practice, begin by tapping vigorously at your sacrum, also called the life gate. Rapidly tapping to awaken the chi and now to the jade pillow, the bones at the base of your skull, making a, a soft fist and knocking at the jade pillow. The third step of awakening chi is flatten your hands and circle the kidney area in one direction or both direction. And then take the right hand and place it on the lower dantian and massage in a clockwise circle. Take the left hand and massage the lower dantian in a counterclockwise circle. And lastly, You'll massage the temples. These six steps of awakening chi have certain numbers of times that you repeat the poses, but for the purposes of this short practice, I'm just introducing you to the concept. Meridian wake up. Place your hands at the lower dantian. Now turn your palms up and inhale. With that movement, you're bringing energy up the spine, up your back body. Exhale, right hand down the inner left arm. And trace over the left fingertips. Inhale, cup the right palm up the left arm. And switch sides. Exhale, left hand move down the inner right arm. Over the fingertips. And inhale. Your hand floats slightly above the skin. And your hands meet at the collarbone, palms face down as you press the chi down to the lower dantian and repeat, coordinating movement with breath. Meridians are a set of pathways inside the body along which vital energy is said to flow. You place or move your hands to move energy. Don't overthink it. Just feel it. What feels right. It's not so important that your body has the perfect form. It's more important that your body is relaxed while doing the poses than that your form looks like mine. Pushing waves. Step your right foot forward. And a little micro bend to the back left knee. Hands at chest level, hands push away as you exhale and lean your weight towards the front foot. Point your fingers down and inhale, bring the palms back. Then repeat, tuning in, inhale, pull back. Exhale, push the waves away, making your movement fluid. Connecting your body with your breath. Make the waves bigger and then the exhale, as you push waves away, you could exhale, let it go through the mouth and make a swoosh sound. Whatever you feel comfortable with. See if you can sense 
the wave in your body and the wave in your breath. Gradually make your waves smaller and smaller. And then switch sides. Left foot steps forward, bend in the back right knee. Hands push the waves forward with an exhale as you shift your weight. Exhale, push the waves away. Inhale, pull the waves back. Let go of thought. Reside in your body. And tune into the fluid movement. Feel free to add a exhale through the mouth and add the swoosh sound if you feel comfortable with that. And gradually make the waves smaller and smaller. Come back to your stance, shoulder width distance apart, slight bend in the knees, energy clear. Reach across to the opposite shoulder with your hand, squeeze, and then swipe down to your opposite hip as if you're grabbing the tension and sweeping it across your body and off. This helps create synchrony and connection, engagement between the two sides of the body and the two sides of the brain. That was the upper body. Now we'll clear the lower half of the body. Reach behind your waist and pull across to the opposite hip and then slide to hands down the leg to the ground repeating it on the same leg, pulling across the belt meridian, sliding stuck energy down your leg and sweeping it off of the edge of your foot. Switching sides, start at the opposite hip, slide around the belt meridian, down the leg, off the foot. This promotes grounding. Ease is always more important than precision in Qigong. bringing in the chi. Once again, palms face up. Inhale, arms out wide and up high to pull in the fresh chi into the space that you've just opened up by moving the stagnant old chi out. Exhale, palms face down, press down. Look up, take in the fresh chi and bring it down through your body. Meridian tapping. We're going to do meridian tapping which helps move the chi along the major meridians in the direction it's meant to flow. Start with clapping the hands. Then move to the top of the left lung and shoulder well and around the shoulder joint. Extend the non-tapping arm out with palm. Palm facing up. Let the thumb point up, tap the top of the arm and then underneath the arm. And tap in the armpit as the opposite hand tap, taps the back of your neck at the C7 vertebrae. And then tap all the way down the left side of the body. And you're tapping into the stomach and spleen meridians here. Clapping the palms together at the center of your body, this gets the heart meridian. And then go to the right chest, right lung, tapping along the shoulder well, and around the shoulder joint. Then palm up, tap down the right arm. You can do this with a flat hand or fist, thumb up, tap down the arm, and underneath the arm once again tapping into the armpit and the C7 vertebrae. When you're tapping on the right side of the body, on the torso, you're getting the liver meridian. Just notice and feel. Then finishing the upper body sequence by tapping at the breastbone with both hands. This is good for the heart. Now move to the top of the forehead and begin tapping 
up the top of the head and back to the base of the skull. Lifting your hands up, coming to the top of the forehead or hairline and tapping to the base of the skull. We only go in one direction here. And this helps reverse the fight or flight response. Helps to encourage the relaxation response. Tune in. Feel the part of the body that you've just tapped. And we move to the lower body. With flat hands below the navel, begin tapping the lower dantian. As you tap your belly, it's important, as with all your points, but especially with the abdomen, to send kind, loving, accepting energy. And then move to tapping at the kidneys, the sacrum, the buttocks, and then tapping down the back of the legs to the heels. If you can't reach, you can just imagine tapping. The benefit is the same. Tapping the front of the feet and then up the front of the body, up the front of the legs. Finding the points between the hips and then down the outsides of the legs. It's the gallbladder channel. Then up the insides of the legs, that's the spleen channel, and back to the belly. This lower body sequence is very grounding. Anytime you feel anxious, this is a good one to do. Tapping now at the belly and then at the heart or the breastbone again. Stomping down chi. We're going to step forward with one foot and push the chi down with an audible huh sound, a type of martial arts sound. So pushing the chi down with a guttural kind of martial arts sound. The lower the sound, the more it grounds the chi. You can do that a couple of times. Huh. Huh. Repeating it a couple times on each side, then switching sides. Bringing in the chi. With a micro bend in the knees and palms facing up, inhale, arms out wide. Bringing fresh chi into this well flowing, well regulated system that you are supporting. Always noticing if you go on autopilot and gently bringing yourself off of it simply by paying attention without judgment and feeling or sensing your hands. Swinging arms or empty coat sleeves. Relax the body, let go completely. Open the joints and the rest will follow. Keep a soft bend in your joints as you move through this twist. You can tap the opposite front shoulder and the back hip alternately as you twist side to side. Holding Chi. Now like you're holding a ball of energy in front of your lower dantian below your navel, as you inhale, pull the palms away from one another, and as you exhale, bring the palms closer to one another. You may begin to feel the palpable sensation of that ball of chi, connecting to your hands, connecting your palms with a visceral sensation. Tune in. Nothing you need to force or make happen, but the more you practice, the more you're going to feel that chi living in a kinesthetic experience. Feeling your hands connected to that chi even when they're far apart, and condensing the chi into a ball when they move together. And hands on the lower dantian, storing that chi for later use. We never extend all the chi, we always store some for later use. Sealing or closing chi. Rub your hands vigorously together. Massage the entire body, starting at the lower dantian, up the torso, down each arm, your neck, your back. You move fast when, as you seal the chi. Rub your hips, rub down, back and front of each leg, off the feet, and then begin pounding, starting at the lower dantian again. It's a vigorous tapping but never entering into pain. Up the torso, getting each arm front and back. Back of the neck, upper, back, lower back. Buttocks, hips, front and back of each leg. And 
and end by pounding at the lower dantian and circling. Gathering the chi, inhale, arms out wide, palms face up, look up. Receive and bring it down through your body. Maintain your hands at the lower dantian level for a while, slight bend in the knees, palms face towards the earth and fingers pointing towards one another. Stay here for as long as you like. Thank you for your practice.